everybody. Bit of a change of location today. Uh, we're in the middle of doing some decorating. So I can't film in my usual spot because we have to move furniture around and that's in the way. So I'm coming at you today from the junk room. Exercise bike, ironing board, usual sort of junk room junk. So let's start with a beer. Get my bottle opener open. Today's beer is Celebration Ale from Sainsbury's Taste the Difference range. And this is brewed by Black Sheep Brewery in Masham. 6% by volume and it says it's deep and smoky with port wine notes. So crack it open. Let's see what we've got. Is a deep colour. Looks like a porter or a stout with a coffee coloured head. Oh, gone a bit too quick there, I think. We'll leave that last bit in there for now. A dark velvety stout with complex chocolate and spice finish. So, smells like a chocolatey beer. Oh, that's delightful. Quite bitter, and that balances the chocolate edge quite well. Very smooth, long finish. Mmm, that is delightful. So if you like a heavy, chocolatey stout or winter ale or a porter, you should try this. Celebration Ale from Sainsbury's. Now, on to the main business. Got a knife review for you. Recent purchase from Heine Haynes. This is... Um, a licensed design, uh, the original by Serge Pinchenko, and this is made by Black Fox, and it's the Bean Generation 2. Okay, so this is how the knife comes under the slip case. We've got a nice, robust cardboard box with the Black Fox logo in silver magnetic clasp on the cardboard and the knife is sat in a shaped sponge so what have we got let's see if we can zoom in a bit closer I think that's better so it's a slip joint, single blade, looks like a frame lock, but what the bar does there uh, doesn't lock the blade as it would with a frame lock. There is a small ball detent instead of a back spring. So we open it out, it's quite a small knife, let's get the uh, ruler on it. So we've got handle just under 3 inches, about 70mm, blade, 2 inches, cutting edge, 2 and a quarter overall, so that's about 57mm. Size comparison, Victorian Ox Spartan as usual, so you can see it's chunkier than the Spartan but shorter. What does the knife weigh? Fifty-eight point three grams, which in English 
is a shade over two ounces. Now, this knife cost £28, I think. It's made in China. And it's quite well made, to be honest. We've got a three inch, sorry, a three millimeter thick blade in 440C. Nice generous sharpening notch there. And as you see, the nut there that looks a bit like a thumb stud provides the blade stop in the open and closed positions. So we've got steel back. Pocket clip that doesn't have the option to be moved anywhere, but never mind. And an olive wood scale on the front with the Black Fox logo etched in. And here on the inside of the, the other side, you can see the model number BF-719ZW. So the finish is really nice. I know that the uh, sort of unbranded Chinese ones you can get from AliExpress uh, are a lot cheaper than this but this would be a licensed version of the Serge Pachenko design and this is the Bean Generation 2 so overall this is a nice little knife let's see what the edge is like Sharp. That's not bad at all, that. The benefit from a strop, I suppose, but there's nothing wrong with that. The edge is nicely ground, very symmetrical. Lovely. So, the Bean 2 comes in a, a G10 scale and I think it comes in an all steel version as well. We've got, I don't know if you can make them out on camera, but they appear to be phosphor bronze washers and you can just see the little ball detent inside there. So there'll be two depressions in the blade and the force of that bar pushes that little ball there in and it clips, when it gets to the hole, it clips in. So, I think that's a nice little knife. We'll do a slideshow so you can have a, a closer look. Um, but before we do that, uh, I think it's time for a giveaway. So I'm going to give this knife away. All you need to do is leave a comment down below if you're interested and I shall do a random draw in the usual manner whenever I get round to it. So let's crack on with the slideshow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>